What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, welcome to the YouTube channel. I am your girl, Courage Molina, faith coach, pastor, and everyone's favorite Bible teacher. I help purpose-driven, ambitious women to build extraordinary faith so that they can be who God has called them to be, do what God has called them to do, and take possession of everything God said they could have. Y'all know tonight is TGIW, TGIW, so exciting. Let me just tell you about this TGIW. First of all, I want to quit. <laughs> I want to quit because I always have te technical difficulties. I always say I'm going to get my video together for Thursday and then I don't. And then it's Wednesday and I'm doing my video and like I have it set to premiere, but it's been uploading for like 40 minutes. It was only a 15 minute video. I mean, it's just 15 minutes. I got to get in here so I can, um, I need to share this, share this. I need to share this with my people real quick. They're probably like, where are you? What are you doing with your whole life? Listen, I want to talk to you tonight for a minute about my CEO squad and uh, like relationships, like how to network and build relationships that really will help you to grow. And let me just, I can't do two things at one time. You know what I'm saying? I just can't do it. Join me now, please. Let me put a little smiley face. Um, And then hit this. Can I hit this link? Paste. Oh, yeah. Done. Okay. I'm back. I'm focused. I'm ready. Um, Let me talk to you about my CEO squad. So you guys hear us reference that a lot or you hear Amber reference it. And a my CEO squad, it's a brand, but it's a group first, right? Like it's a brand. Don't get me wrong, but it's a group. It is like, let's break this down. CEO. These are bosses. These are entrepreneurs. Um, People who are building brands, building businesses, and they are also a part of my squad. And so your squad, these are my friends. I mean, they my friends. <laughs> you know, they my friends too. <laughs> but they my friends. But here's the thing. What's up? Is that friends are people that... Friends are people you can be with. You know what I'm saying? You can hang with your friends. You can have a good time. Y'all can uh, maybe go to like a movie or something. Or maybe, I don't know if y'all going to a movie. I mean, I went to a movie even though it's COVID. Uh, I don't really know. But friends are like people you can be with. And you can be friends. You got high school friends, all that stuff. Hey, Charlotte. You know, that's which is great. A squad is different though. Squad, these are people you can build with. These are people that you can build with. And um, I think this is a great night to talk about it because if it weren't for my CEO squad, I would um, I would be done with TGIW. <laughs> now, you guys know Amber and Olivia. Y'all know Amber and Olivia. Hey, Ruth. Hey, Charlotte. Hey, Nikki. You guys know that they create content. Like this is what this videos and editing and all of that stuff. This is... This is what they do. This is their area of expertise. So this is what they do. Me, on the other hand, you know, I'm just, I'm just trying to grow my little platform. <laughs> I just want to teach the people about Jesus. I just, I just want to create a little box. You know what I'm saying? To grow in my platform. Do you know how insane it is? For me to be connected to Olivia and Amber and for me not to concentrate on growing my YouTube, that's just dumb. It's just dumb. I mean, it just it just doesn't it just doesn't make any sense. Would make no sense for me to do that. We are intentional in these. I'm like blowing hard because I'm just like so over. I literally just put in the text. Did I not put this in the text? Let me see. Can y'all see? We have a group text. Um, <laughs> uh, Andy just texted. Who's Andy? <laughs> um, let me just see where. Oh, right here, right here. This is the group text right here. Can y'all see that? This is me right here. It says, "I quit." 
I quit. I, this is just tonight. I just text this tonight too. You can see this is the group chat. And Amber's like, stop. <laughs> New deal deadline Monday. Um, she's like, go live. Tell a story, right? <laughs> because if it were not for my CEO squad, there are so many things that I wouldn't do. I wouldn't grow and I wouldn't be challenged in areas because it's outside of my comfort zone. Because really, I only have, I'm just trying to be honest. This is why having a squad is so important. I literally have four people watching. It's not about the numbers, but it's about the numbers. And so it's like, okay, I only have four people watching. This is a lot. I continue to suck at it. I'm really struggling. Um, I, it's just easy for me to quit. Who's going to miss it? There's nobody going to miss this. <laughs> I show up in other areas. It's fine. I can quit. But because I have a CEO squad who is not just committed to their own greatness, they're committed to my greatness. Amber's like, go ahead, go like, oh, that's FOA. FOA. Yeah, I thought it was you, kind of. But then Amber said, hey, Ruth. And then I was like, maybe that's not FOA. What's up, FOA? But it's just, say I'm saying when you first start something and you don't start out with huge numbers, it's very easy to quit. You could just quit. Nobody's checking for you. Now, I have other spaces where if I quit, people are going to be like, where you at? This? Ain't nobody really checking. <laughs> Ain't nobody really checking for this. So I could just easily quit. That's where the growth happens, though. The growth happens when you are starting something new. That's when you experience the most resistance. When you are getting ready to go to the next level in the very beginning when the numbers are low and you're not getting that instant gratification, right? I could go live on Facebook and get more than three views, right? Facebook ain't going to pay me like the way YouTube is. Facebook doesn't have the same. Um, level of attraction like it doesn't attract people like youtube does youtube is what the second fast first or the second top two as far as search engines are concerned and so having this ceo squad to hold me accountable and to push me towards greatness this did not happen on accident though we didn't just fall into this it was like we're not lucky we not lucky we are not lucky this is work. It's a lot of work having a squad. Great benefits, but it's also a lot of work. You have to be intentional. Relationships don't build themselves. And when we're talking about a squad, people you can build with, not just people you can be with, it's a little bit harder for me to recommend somebody to build a business with. Now, it's easy for me to recommend somebody you can have a good time with. Like, oh, yeah, you should go or go. She's going to be a good time at the network event. That's easy because it ain't nothing to be a good time, but being a good time is fun. When it comes to building a squad, it means that I am intentional about giving to my people and I can accept things from them also, right? I'm intentional about giving things to my people and I can accept things. I can accept support. I can accept feedback. I literally never want feedback. I literally never want feedback, guys. I just kind of want compliments. I don't want feedback, but you have to be intentional about it. So what we've done, what are some things we've done to build a relationship, being intentional and networking? We started out sharing. Everybody in this group gave, right? So Olivia, so first it was me and Olivia, right? Me and Olivia had some ideas, had some things we wanted to do. We gave of our talents to benefit the other person. We gave of our talents to create a um, to create a project or a product or a platform together. We showed up for each other. We, If I said I was going to do something, I did it. If she said she was going to do something, she did it. I didn't have to hold her hand. I didn't have to micromanage her. If she said she was going to get it done, I didn't have to worry about her getting it done. She was going to get it done. Some of y'all can't find a CEO squad because you're not CEO squad material. You can take it how you want. It. Everybody's not cut out to be on the squad. And sometimes you think that you need to, sometimes you think that I need a squad for myself and oh my gosh, I can't find nobody good. Sometimes the reason you can't find great people is because you're not that great. You don't show up. You don't, you're not showing up for yourself. 
You need somebody to hold your hand. Anybody got time for that? Not on a squad. On a squad, everybody's building. On a squad, everybody has a responsibility. On a squad, everybody has obligations. On a squad, everybody got to keep their word. On a squad, everybody's got to be open to criticism, to critique, to feedback. Nobody can be above the group. And there's no pressure, right? Like I have a responsibility to my squad, but I don't owe them things so they can get their work done, right? I'm not, I'm not waiting on my squad to show up so I can do the work that I need to do. Amber and Olivia, they're not that available, okay? They not that available. Olivia don't even take calls on Saturday no more. So annoying. She don't take calls on Sunday. Amber's got to be done by like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. She can't take calls after 4 o'clock because she got these kids. They're not that available. Let me tell you something. I still got to get my work done. I'm not walking around like, oh, well, I didn't get it done because I couldn't talk to y'all. No, I Googled it. I didn't get it done. I Googled it. You understand what I'm saying? That's that's why, you know what I'm saying? Like that, that's how it has to be. That is the way that it has to be if you are in a squad. Ain't nobody gonna be holding your hand. And if you need somebody clapping for you and patting your back every single step of the way, that's not squad material. You don't want a squad, you want a cheerleading team. That's what you want. You want somebody, go, go, rah, rah, sis, boom, ba. That's what you want. It's nobody about to be doing that for you. You are squad material when you are ready to build for yourself and when you are willing to bring what you have to the table. But you got to be willing to bring what you have to the table first. Anytime I meet somebody, I am thinking, especially if there's somebody I want to connect with, because somebody want to get in on this squad. I'm just telling you, that's what it is. When you have good squad, well, your squad, first of all, we squad goals. That's not lost on us. We're squad goals. We know that. We know this. We're not the only squad game in the world. We know there's other squads out there. But I'm going to tell you something about squad culture. Everybody can't get in. And you can say it's exclusive. You can say it's click. Literally don't care. There are requirements, expectation, and a probation period before you can get in this squad. And that's just what it is. Why? Because we hear people saying what they can do, what they will do all the time. When we know that we bring something to the table, it would be great for you to attach yourself to us. It would be great for you to attach yourself to Amber, depending on what space you want to be in, right? If you want to be in the YouTube space, and it's probably great for you to touch yourself to Amber and Olivia because they have content, you know what I'm saying? If you want to get in the coaching space, you want to be in a ministry, then it's probably great to attach yourself to Courage. You want to publish a book or something, then it's great to attach yourself. You know, like we get, we know that. Here's the thing. When people are, when you're trying to build a squad, you meet somebody and you think they're squad material, you have got to come in looking in your bag of tricks with your ear listening. How can I, how can I add value today? Not how can I do it tit for tat? Not how can I exchange something? Oh, can you do this for me? And I'm going to do this for you. No, I'm not about to do nothing for you because I got a squad. So I'm not, I'm not about to do nothing for you and you trying to get in here. Now, if I'm trying to connect with you, that's something different, but you're trying to connect with me and I don't know you from a can of paint. You're trying to get in. No, I'm not about to do, no, I'm, uh -uh. I'm, not, I'm not about to give you nothing. You ain't got to give me nothing because I ain't about to give you nothing. We good. Okay. When I want to be in that space, when I, when I want to grow, when I'm like, oh, that's somebody I want to connect with. Do you know what to help me? Right? When I met Luverda, she was somebody I, I wanted her to be a part of this, right? I, I needed her to bring her skills to this space. I needed her to bring her skills to this space. So when she was like, yeah, she was going to bring her skills to this space, I immediately started listening to what things she needed, not so she could help me, just for her own life. Oh, what kind of books do you read? Oh, can you make a list? Um, let me send you a care package. Oh, what are you doing? What do you need? What are you thinking about? How can I help you? I want to make myself of value to her. Because I'm going to tell you something. When you add value to a person's life who is serious about building, they ain't going nowhere. 
I don't care how much trouble you get them. They ain't going nowhere. Olivia and Amber can complain about me all they want. They ain't going nowhere. You know why? Because I add value. Period. They make me so sick, man, with they can't take no phone call stuff, don't want to eat lunch on time. Like, they really, they really be making me sick. But I'm not about to get rid of them. <laughs> I'm not about to get, I'm not about to get rid of them. Some of y'all always falling off. Every time I turn around, you done fell off. Ain't nobody got time for that. Because purpose don't stop. You Purpose doesn't stop. It's just... I still got a platform. I still got a business. When life is tough for you, you still go to work every day. And so since I work for myself, even when things are going rough for me, I got to work every day. So they're not worried about like, oh, courage is going through this. So she's not showing up. No, I'm showing up. Now I might be crying when I come, but I'm gonna come. Right? I, this is what I want to leave you with. I'm about to hop off because I want y'all to get over to A and O. This is what I want to leave you with. If you are looking to be in a network of other women, I see um, Charlotte said, being in this space helps me feel more accountable. That's the thing, right? When you have a squad, I'm motivated. I am motivated to do better in my life. Y'all see this? It's so stinking cute, right? It's so cute. I'm motivated to do better in my life. Y'all know my background used to be so plain. Because of how Amber and Olivia show up on YouTube, they didn't even, they didn't even help me with that. Because of how the, they never said, oh, courage, you need to do that. But because I'm a part of this squad and I watch them do their thing in their business at a certain level of excellence, I thought to myself, oh, I need to get my game up. I'm like you, Charlotte. I feel more accountable in this group, too. I feel more accountable in this space, too. When I see that, I'm like, dang, I need to get myself together. Not from a place of competition, but from a place of growth. From a place of increase, God has connected me to these people for a reason. So I'm going to learn what I need to learn. And so I appreciate you, Amber. I was so annoyed with this technology. I'm like, I'm about to quit. I was like, I'm done. I ain't got to do another YouTube. Amber's like, nope. We got a new deadline. <laughs> Videos must be done by Monday. First of all, everybody finished their video today. I don't know when Olivia finished hers. Maybe she finished hers yesterday. But Amber finished her video today. Okay? And this is how it is every Wednesday, <laughs> every Wednesday, every Wednesday, every Wednesday. We be tripping. We be tripping every Wednesday. Like, why do we do this? So Amber's like, you know what? New deadline. New, the new deadline is Monday. You need a squat, like a squat you can build with who want to be excellent for themselves because that's contagious. First of all, attitude is contagious. Nasty attitude, positive attitude, contagious, right? Listen, Charlotte, I was like, I'm about to quit. They're about to get this. They better get on YouTube and look at them podcasts. I'm not about to be a part of TGIW. But my squad just won't let it be. They just won't let it be. And I'm so grateful for them. So I just want to encourage you to think about what you bring to the table, right? I want you to think about the people who you want to connect with. You want to be a part of their community. You want to be a part of their squad. There's nothing wrong with leveraging relationships to get to the next level. We do it all the time. I will name drop Amber if I need to, and I will get her on the call if it's going to seal a deal for me. That's real. I've put in the work to be able to make that call. Hey, I need you to make this video. Can you make this video? I know you're an ambassador for them, but I need you to be an ambassador for me. Can you drop my product uh, in your next little YouTube video with your 15,000 views? <laughs> Thank you. Right? They can get things from me on a dime people can't get. All right? It's 827. I hope this has blessed you. Man, come into the space trying to figure out. Trying to figure out how you can serve the people who you feel like you can benefit from. You know what I'm saying? Like, what can, how, what can I, what do I bring to, you bring something to the table, there's no question about it. But when you get into those conversations and you meet those people, start listening to what they need, to what they're struggling with, and be a solution. Because people keep people around that solve their problems. And if you can solve a problem for me, and I got plenty, okay? If you can solve a problem for me without expecting anything, because I'm looking at you like, yeah, she only doing it because she wants something. If you can solve a problem for me without expecting anything, I got you. I'm also doing the same. I'm going to be thinking the same thing. You know, we got to give what we want. We got to, we have to sow 
this is my last thing, I promise. We have got to sow that which we hope to reap. You have a YouTube channel. You hope that people subscribe, like, comment, and share. When you're watching and consuming someone's YouTube content, then you should subscribe, like, comment, and share. You're hoping that somebody shares your blog, then when you're reading somebody else's blog, you should share their blog. You understand what I'm saying? Like when you, whatever it is you want people to do for your content, sow that in the relationship quick and fast. Give, give, give. I love y'all. I hope this has blessed y'all. Y'all go over to a and the a and channel. It's going to be good, good, good. You already know it's nothing but great stuff over there. Again, I'm your girl, Courage Molina. Faith coach. I'm a pastor, y'all. <laughs> Your girl got a church out here in these streets. Boy, the Lord will use anybody, won't he? Child, ain't that something? And everyone's favorite Bible teacher, I pray that this has helped you in some way. I love y'all. Tell your friends. See y'all next Wednesday and see y'all in the next vid day, y'all. Love y'all. Later. Bye.